lovely Good to see, see you. you once again. Once again. I'm the eldest of five. I grew up in Liverpool, eight. But then um, I got involved in doing voluntary youth work. And so I spent, before I was elected, 20 years as um, a community development worker. I am the first black MP ever elected in the city. I see it uh, as a, an opportunity for people to think, well, yeah, she is, you know, black, a woman and working class. And so I can do whatever I want to do. My mum was a, a teacher. And, and father was a, a marine engineer. Having both parents with an absolute passion for education was, was really important. I'm a very proud Scouser and whenever I have the opportunity to say that I'm from Liverpool and Liverpool is the best city in the world, I, you know, I mean that. What is the proudest moment of your career? I mean, there, there have been quite a number of... Over of 41 proud, years. 42. Oh, 42. <laughs> Sorry. Standing in the cathedral as the Vice-Chancellor for that first set of uh, graduations after COVID. It's the impact that we can have in transforming people's lives. The highlight was um, getting to know you a bit better. I've learned to listen mm. in, in a different sort of way. I, I feel I always had a general understanding, but that's not the same as hearing it directly from, from individuals. It's been honest insightful and inspirational. I can pick up the phone to you, we can have a conversation and, and gaining your perspective on a whole range of issues for me is, is particularly important. Having those conversations with somebody has been really positive. We, we are taking action and what's really important for me is this becomes a sustainable activity. It is a real sort of cultural change for the organisation and we keep the momentum going.